everyone. Is this area B? It is indeed. Fantastic. Thanks, Merlin. Lovely to see you. Hi, do you smell fantastic you're here? So, let me just get uh, Sunshine, because uh, this is actually what we've been. <laughs> Hi, Merlin. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, he's here anyway. Hi, Tunja. Do you want to come? Come on. Sure. Come on. Oh. As is here, because I'm in the project part. Oh, lovely. Um, no, I could, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Just wondering whether any of our project partners made it. Letitia said she would, pr I mean, she would try to come here. But uh, does not look it. Do, do you see anybody else? Okay, let's give it a try then. This said to be so. How long do we have, Tundra? Do you know? Sorry, I don't seem to hear you for some reason. Oh, well, we've got. Can you hear me now? Minutes. Yes, yeah. I can. That's great. Thanks, Leah. So, oops. Oh, nice. Thanks. Thank you, Leah. That is lovely. You're saying this. Fantastic. Awesome. So, um, what, what we would like to do is basically not to repeat the session of this morning as such. And there is, uh, well, if you've heard what Tunja has been saying this morning, he's basically given a summary of um, how his teacher trainees, his students basically, in, they are um, uh, students to become English language teachers, how his teacher trainees have taken up virtual worlds over the many years, the many projects he's been doing, uh, besides building two islands in Second Life, next to ours, and how these students have then won awards, they've been granted scholarships, they've uh, started to do some master um, programs in, in virtual worlds and how that has even spanned um, basically other um, faculties outside uh, the English language teaching training department. It involved mathematics, it involved um, master students uh, of any color. So who has been here for the keynote this morning? Could I just ask you in the audience? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, so let me just give you a round of um, a little presentation. It's unfortunate. It's not too long, um, as regards to the um, outcomes of the project. Um, I'd like to paste uh, some text in the text chat for those who are di who have difficulty hearing. So here is. We'll start with this one. And Tunja, by all means, uh, you, if you're happy to come in. So, Guinevere is about to learn a language in a virtual world. Um, Guinevere stands for Games Used in Engaging Virtual Environments for Real-Time Language Education. And a Project Coordinator. Project. So, this is what... Oh, my dear. Hmm. Nice one. Uh, I've been too fast, sorry. Not 
These fights are not in order, I'm afraid. <laughs> Uh, project coordination is uh, the University of Central Lancashire in the UK and then the project partners are mentioned here on this slide and they are the University of Istanbul as Tunja is representing here it's EUL that is um, well apart from for EUL is the in Italian in University Online um, then we have the uh, the na my my <laughs> own self. Let's talk online in Belgium, Brussels, and then 3D less in the Netherlands. So there are basically three universities in it and two commercial partners. What is the aim of the project? And uh, I'm quite happy to let you read this here. Uh, paste some of it in the text chat if that's all right because it's a bit of a handful to read, but it includes policies, European policies, so I allow you to read this. You finished reading? <laughs> Sorry, I don't want it. <laughs> I love on. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I just would like to let you know what does the um, European Commission actually do? Thank you. Um, what the European Commission spends basically 300,000 euro on is the what, what uh, that's what the intellectual outputs are all about here so the intellectual outputs are the results of the project and they this is essentially the teacher training course as you can see the, the bottom line the teacher training course is the outcome however in the process of developing this teacher training course there are some highly recommended uh, documents or papers that have been developed to prepare us for that one of which is categorizing of game as a document created by Crystal Schneider and it's a fantastic document um, that she's produced uh, in order to um, to categorize games that have really been created already so not only does she list many of the practical examples which have been created by teachers and I'm saying with screenshots, uh, with scripts, uh, everything and then she also lists the games with respect to what language level that could teach and what kind of game it is. It's an absolutely amazing resource. Uh, this document alone is just worth you know, looking into um, Guinevere. And these are the games in virtual worlds, yeah. Uh, another example of the intellectual outputs is a meta study of uh, one of our project partners that's in Euclid, that's Sylvia Benini. She's done that one. And that deals with, um, it is a meta study on studies which deal with gamification, global simulation, and game design. So it's a document, it's a lengthy lengthy document which lists all of the studies that have ever been written about gamification 
and uh, um, in this document she lists not only the studies but also the short summaries of the content of each study and that's so comprehensive it's amazing this document alone is fantastic and then other documents are uh, teacher training guidelines guidelines for example for security issues such as how to deal with griefers how to uh, set the world settings prior to inviting the students and as we're dealing in um, I'll speak about this in a minute uh, we will be dealing with various virtual worlds and also games have been created for the various uh, virtual worlds and the age groups so here games were produced for the project extensive field testing took place with school classes as young as seven years of age in Minecraft, teenagers in OpenSim, and adult trainees in Second Life. Yes, exactly, Tunja. Exactly. And thank you for typing because uh, that really helps the uh, the those uh, impaired, you know, hearing impaired. And uh, thank you for adding this in text chat. Awesome. So the um, another amazing development is out of this whole lot of intellectual output is an app for vocabulary training, an app which can be edited by teachers and they can add pictures and videos of virtual worlds and imagery uh, to the app. So vocabulary training in a, in a different new form and especially editable by teachers. This app is due to come out sometime in summer. And uh, mention also, I mean, obviously the, the final goal of this project is the teacher training. That's the, the last one, yeah. And we talk more about the teacher training because we would like to invite you to be part of it. This vocabulary training through digital narratives. Actually, Tunja, if you wouldn't mind spending a bit of time in text chat just trying to explain this app because the app alone is just lovely. It's a, it, you have given it a fantastic name. <laughs> Meantime, I can uh, just run you through a couple of the environments that we've selected. So here is uh, OpenSim for the teenagers. Um, teenage students, and in our case, we had always the problem that uh, many of, the, of the, the learners of our teachers could not enter Second Life because the Second Life, as you know, is from 16 onwards. So OpenSim for teenage students, Minecraft for young learners, and Second Life obviously for a 16 plus or adults. Yeah, and the fact that we cater now finally for these three age groups, uh, for these, you know, for, uh, cater for, um, for all of the age groups, uh, is for us fantastic. And I might have to transcribe a little bit myself now because <laughs> that's how far, how far the uh, um, Speak Easy Heart has gone. So let me show you a couple of these scenes. Um, and I'll browse through relatively quickly. This is our island, Guinevere, in, sec in OpenSim. And we have an immersive experience scheduled experience. It's scheduled for, um, correct me, um, Lorivon, when exactly? 11th of April, fantastic. What time did we put it up? And we we all will, will visit Guinevere Island. There's a quest. Uh, we'll do the quest. Yes, immersive experience. Then uh, we have a lot of role playing set up in Open Sim.
and quests. I'm, I'm excited as well. I'd love to really see you. And now Minecraft. Um, Minecraft for us a new environment and a challenging one because it's so new, so different. It is a real game. So we have not developed a games in Minecraft but we have developed activities to play the game. And these activities could be rebuilding fairy tales, other things. We've got the school classes working on a number of projects. This quest here we build is a spaceship that fell from heaven. Sorry about this, I was just looking at some of the text chats. Um, so we have, uh, obviously Minecraft is a beautiful, beautiful uh, area for children. We have a lot of fun in Minecraft as well. But then again we are in Second Life. And in Second Life on Edunation you'll find um, quite a number of games set up for you and quests, yeah, uh, games and quests for language learning. Thank you, that's lovely. Um, in Second Life, of course, we also role play. So role plays, quests, uh, Simulations, role play and simulations go one in hand in hand. I'm showing you a, a picture here. So the, the simulation for language learning as well as role play is a very important part for us, uh, the kind of games we need, uh, we, we were looking at. Quests and board games, funny enough. These are the sort of type of games we've looked at. So now here, and I'm almost at the end of this presentation, um, to in encourage you a little bit to do a discussion. Um, we would like to invite you now, uh, if you can, very would be very, very happy for you to join our two pilot tests. And the pilot tests um, are Yes, please, Joanne. <laughs> the pilot test should be with about 20 teachers each. One of them is a self-study course for weeks on game design with the result to be able to design a game but we also take you um, take you into OpenSim and and Minecraft. There is a um, there is um, a, f a free you know Minecraft access. One hundred minutes, hundred minutes you can access uh, Minecraft for free.
And in the uh, second course, the teacher training course, we have a five-week intensive one. And the self-study course, self-study is mostly mostly videos, but uh, two sessions to get into OpenSim and into Minecraft. Yeah. To get to know it, but mainly just to learn about game design. And the second one, thank you very much, Tundra. And the second one, the teacher training course, that one is to, to learn how to create games. It's five weeks, it's intensive, with lots of synchronous sessions and very involved. Now we believe both take place in May and you have to choose one or the other. You cannot do both. But the scheduling is still a little open. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Tunja. The scheduling is not quite fixed, we have to talk. If anybody of you is interested in joining, we would be very, very delighted. So that brings me almost to the end, to um, the session. What I would like to offer though, is a bag of freebies. The purpose of the, the course, the teacher training course, is to thank you, De Costa, for this for this question. Um, the purpose of the course is for language teachers to learn how to design games in a low-tech self-study course or learn to create games in a high-tech teacher training course which is live and uh, with teacher trainers moderated. You'd love to take one or the other looks. <laughs> that sounds fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. That's lovely. Now we're really we we I've been to uh, Ayatafel this week. Presented this at Ayatafel to invite many many language teachers to join us. Uh, De Costa asks, does it require bilingual teachers? Um, if you are a mathematic teacher or a scientist or a CLIL or any other, you are most welcome to join. so much. So here is the bag of goodies I brought along. Um, it is these freebies you get if you send us an email, um, the research papers, the, the study, the uh, study on game categories, uh, Further, we have done quite a number of webinars, interesting ones, all around game design. Then a self-study course on game design and the teacher training course. Obviously, these are the freebies. You do not need to pay for any of the courses, but we like you to give us constructive feedback as to what you thought of it. The papers I mentioned, the webinars. Uh, it's just so much that we would like to share.
Exactly. Thank you, Chuncha. Okay. Now, um, we still got about 20 minutes time. <laughs> Thank you, Mao. Could I ask in the audience who would be interested in joining this course and what would you sort of expect to get out of the course? Um, prefer email actually, can I give you the email addresses? Oh, the last one has not uploaded for some reason. <gasps> Good one. Sorry, there was one slide for some reason. It's not, <laughs> it's not. Oops. Got up there. Um, yes, allow me to give you my email address and also Tunjus in, in text chat if that's right. Uh, I also would like to mention Michael Thomas email address. Michael Thomas, I mentioned all of those on the last slide I'm afraid. So not there. Hmm. Here I am. And if you could could contact us here, that would be awesome. So the, here is Nuno, lovely. So who would like to um, join? Yes, that sounds fantastic. And are you a language educator? And Nahi, Nahi Ram. Oh, wonderful. Nahia, you are a, an English teacher, aren't you? Joanna can? That's fantastic. Is any of you a language educator? No, you don't have to. No. Fantastic jazz. Research skills, awesome. You would love the documents that were created. Absolutely love them. I'm happy to email you. Could you in IM send me your email address? I'd be happy to IM you some of the, the documents. And Bethany is, I'm an instructional designer who works with faculty, I'd like to help them adopt virtual world with curriculum. Awesome. Bethany, you would like to join as well? That's fantastic. Um, <laughs> oh, great. Joanna and Joanne, Kimona, are you? <laughs> Do you happen to be Japanese by any chance? <laughs> Bethany is awesome. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> and Lux is an EFL teacher at high school. Yes, 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 Lux, we do have your email. Ah, oh, the fact you want to join is fantastic. And Renan, Renan, fantastic. I can't believe it. I'm so happy. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm thrilled. Definitely. <laughs> oh, that makes my day. <laughs> I'm thrilled. Well, the, the thing is, the interesting thing is, and uh, sorry if I may say so, in the, um, I, I write it down in text chat. This week, uh, I was at the IATEFL conference in Liverpool with 3,000 English teachers. Yeah, 
um, 3,000 English teachers from around the world. And we presented this on Wednesday to them, yeah? And you know, Second Life has been out, okay? <laughs> Very much out. But, but, we got an amazing response, yeah? And suddenly they kept saying, oh yes, immersive technologies. <laughs> the response was overwhelming. I can't tell you why of suddenly it changes. Why of suddenly uh, the mood seemed to have changed? I don't know. Maybe we are. Because we used to be laughed at. At every conference, to be honest, yeah. Nahi, you did a similar course ten years ago. Tell us about it, please. Are you on voice? Can you go on voice? Um, good question, Lux. AR is my <coughs> favorite versus VR. Very good, Lux. Very good point. Uh, do you wanna uh, go on voice? Hello. Yeah. Hello. We hear you. Hello. Okay. Well, that the uh, I joined Second Life in 2008 to, uh, in order to take a course for using virtual worlds in language teaching, specifically Second Life. That was promoted by by TESOL International, and uh, we took a, that course for mm, seven weeks, I think. And uh, then the following years, we, you and I were in the same course, but we were the 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 tutors, the mentors. It was an incredible experience. Uh, both opportunities in uh, 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 as a student as a learner how how to uh, in how to to use a virtual world for language learning and also to be a trainer or a mentor a tutor uh, it was incredible and I am still uh, in this world I'm not using virtual world for teaching but I am using mine uh, platforms, English and Spanish, and I'd love to 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 design now. Going on to a stage with this designing, uh, the design of a, of a game and design, curriculum design, it was wonderful, I, and I recommend it to anyone. Thanks. You you would sorry you would. Know it to anyone? I, w I would recommend every. Oh, you would to, recommend to, it? Yeah, yes. To 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 take your course. It's very. That interesting. is fantastic. Please do advertise it. Um, mm -hmm. well. we've, yes. And have you, Nahi? Have you been teaching English uh, in other environments? Yes, but not in, in, in virtual worlds. I, I did it for a while, but then I, yeah. I went uh, because we had uh, connection problems in my country, so I couldn't use it. Yeah. In other platforms like uh, using Skype with different tools. Okay. Excellent. And is there anybody else in the audience who who has perhaps some expectations or some thoughts on this one? Quintus, oh, it's great to see you here. <laughs> We're old friends. <laughs> and Merlin. Do you have anything to mention? Yeah, go, don't be shy. Use voice. Merlin and myself, we took a, um, we took the, uh, it was then uh, the, uh, from the University of Seattle in 
US we took a an immersive education okay <laughs> uh, course of the University of Seattle yeah Seattle what no, it was in Washington oh, no. Okay, anybody else would like to say something? Tundra? <laughs> About sure. the course you itself? It up? Sorry? You wrap it up. You wrap it up quite well. The only thing that I could add to this is the second course uh, where we will have uh, more expertise. Uh, and we will have th three different environments. And if you want to learn the OpenSIM, for example, we'll have. Uh, people who will assist the teachers on OpenSIM. We will have t uh, people who will experts like Christelle Schneider, for example, uh, and Carol Weber and yourself on Second Life, for example. Uh, so we will have different, of course, uh, Minecraft. I mean, so the teachers will uh, and can choose uh, the environment they want to work with, which is easier for them. And then they can uh, start thinking about um, creating and designing their own games in these environments. So this is basically, uh, what the second and the more technical um, uh, teacher training will be about. So it's, it, it, I think it's going to be great. And You have to speak yeah. a little slower for me to transcribe it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Very difficult well, for please me. Please say it again. <laughs> okay. Um, what we're planning in the teacher training is uh, in a high-tech one. Uh, we will have three different environments. Uh, and teachers who want to design and create on OpenSIM, the teachers who would like to use Second Life for these designs and games, and the teachers who want to use the Minecraft, depending on uh, their students, because if they have younger students, Minecraft is uh, more suitable, and if they have uh, older students, uh, learners, perhaps OpenSIM or Second Life, depending on your um, uh, opportunities is uh, will can be decided so in this context we'll have different uh, environments where you can learn and where you can uh, create and design your own games for your own students so uh, this is what i would like to add up to the teacher teacher training course thank you so much mm -hmm. thank you so much Tocha. and Tucha and his team are also the app developers. Now, if you can think of a supportive, an app that supports your work in the virtual world, an app that allows you to use the imagery or the videos for that matter in a, kind of a card game type of thing, well, we called it gistery. You know it? Tunja, can we, you know? <laughs> Is there stories? Yeah. There are stories. Uh, can these you are, explain about the app? These are, these are the Guinevere stories. So that's why we call them the gisteries. So. Just, uh, the app is called gistery, which I yeah, think is. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we hope that uh, when it is uh, coming out, it's going to be uh, popular among teachers who would like to contextualize vocabulary uh, through virtual worlds. Uh, because virtual worlds are really promising in uh, contextualizing basically the language, um, uh, the, the vocabulary, perhaps some uh, uh, grammar, perhaps some uh, skills. Uh, so we are hoping that in this app, the teachers uh, will be able to create uh, their um, games, if you like, or a narrative. Actually, these are going to be digital narratives. Uh, so they can create their digital na narratives, like in the form of uh, riddles and all the all other stuff. And so uh, I think it's going to be a very nice uh, addition to the outcomes of this project. So right now it's in the developing, and uh, I'm hoping that uh, around the summer, before the summer, we will have the first uh, edition and we will be able to download it uh, to our uh, mobile apps, uh, sorry, mobile uh, devices and we will start using it, yes. 
Yes, and so we also need uh, you to test this app with Definitely. your own content in Second Life. With your own imagery, with that. Because but it's... Does it make sense for those who are not English teachers, Tunja? What do you think? I mean, that could be, depending on any, any language. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be only English teachers. That could be Spanish teachers. Uh, that could be Russian teachers, Arabic teachers, whatever. Because the language here uh, depends on the, the need of the teacher, of course. But the, um, the visuals, they don't possess this language thing. So whatever you create yourself, uh, you can link it to your own language. So in this context, it doesn't have to be only English teachers, of course. Um, but the question is, um, can it, I mean, uh, earlier somebody asked, e even if you're not a language teacher, can you benefit from this, A, the pilot, or the app for that matter? Or does it have to be language learning? Well, if you can, if you can find a way to use digital narrative in your context, uh, yes, of course, because the basic idea here is to, to be able to create digital narratives. So if you can... And digital uh, narrative is what? Exactly. Digital, digital narrative is uh, when you're putting together uh, different types of media, like videos, like um, like pictures, uh, if you like, uh, and sounds, if you like. So uh, the digital for, uh, digital narrative is in the form of any media that you can, uh, any digital media that you can uh, make use of in your in your uh, device. Uh, so in this context, if you can really link it to your own uh, business, yes, of course, why not? Because what we are going to provide is only the tool to be able to create digital narratives out of these um, out of these um, virtual worlds. Yeah, and here um, Ranan had a fantastic comment here. Certainly learning the concept of game development and digital narratives slash storytelling are useful for many educational or other works. Definitely. I've never even looked at this like that. Yes, it's the game, it's a digital narrative, storytelling. Gistory will be a storytelling app. Useful but, uh, for many educational other works. Fantastic. But the actual use of this is going to be that it allows the teachers to create, which is all teachers can create their own material based on uh, and their own narratives based on what they need. But it doesn't have to be uh, that you are using somebody else's. And your students can be uh, the real target in this context. And Sunil so asks, how about a game that teaches people how to tell story? <laughs> wow! <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Tunja, over to you. You, you're the well, app any, developer. Any, <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I'm not the actual app developer. We have uh, our people who are doing this, but I'm just helping out with the ideas. Uh, what I can see here is in this question is, uh, as long as you're teaching any process, because uh, any narrative is basically a process, uh, so you can you can actually integrate all of these uh, ideas together. Yes, of course, but of course you you have to have specific aims in this context. I want you to make uh, things sort of clearer language about the app because I'm curious myself. I have not part. Uh, I've, oh, voice broke up. I've not been part of the app development, but I've been keenly watching it because my idea of um, here uh, of the games is transmedia storytelling. Have you heard of this expression? That's well, this is basically transmedia storytelling. That's basically, I think that's basically what I previously said. Any kind of media that you can put along the uh, the narrative in the beginning, in the con process, and then in the in and the any end. Any kind so, of media. What does that? What does the app take? Doesn't it take uh, pictures only? Pictures and yes, of course you can you can also put up videos because they they could be videos also. Yeah. Yes, of course, because they can be in the form of uh, YouTube links. So in this context, ah, embedded. Okay. Can, yes, you can, okay, you can okay. make use of those as well. And, and sounds. sounds. Well, yes, sound of fast? course, because 
Yes, because the teachers can record some uh, narrative themselves and the students can have access to them along the way of learning okay. a new skill. Fantastic. I have a question. Slowly... Yeah, go ahead. Uh, uh, this is Rhiannon. So is um, the capabilities for the audio and video, is that just um, in the metadata linking to these things or is it actually going to have some creation capabilities? Uh, we, we didn't think of uh, creation capabilities because that would be a huge thing yeah. and, and yeah. take a, a lot more time for us to do in the course of a two-year uh, EU project. Uh, but uh, what we thought that it could be very easily linked to the, out, uh, the, the videos outside uh, the environment because also if you, if you uh, plan to um, ho host some of these videos in the in the app itself. The app itself is going to be huge, so it's it's uh, I think uh, difficult in this context. In our Oops. context, at least. <laughs> I'm transcribing in a private message. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, I lost it. Jazz says even for my four credit advanced research course. Our students tell the story of how they would research a question of their choosing. Storytelling, very powerful learning tool. Wow. <coughs> and Rannan says again, so it allows you to curate and tie all of your text, audio, video assets together. Exactly. That's, that's what we are thinking. That's what we are ah, thinking. That is fantastic. And uh, second life machinima for content creation. So the the videos, as you mentioned, Machinima in the app? Uh, yes, because Machinima is a tool that can be created in any way and you can just link to that anyway. Awesome. Now, even just the fact that the app will allow teachers to edit and add their own content, that in itself is amazing to me. Yeah, amazing that teachers can add their own content. Hi Anne, lovely to see you. I'm afraid we'll have to wrap it up here with 50 minutes. Um, thank you, thank you so much. I can't wait to contact each one of you for the, uh, um, you know, sending you more information about the courses. I'd love to work with you on this course. You're such a fantastic crowd of knowledgeable, amazing people like <laughs> Laurent said, Bethany, she's awesome. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's fantastic. I, I will create a little note card as well with some details on where and when to start. If we could get together for a course. And I'm just hoping that it will be interesting as a course for those who are not language educators. But we'll see this one. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm just so delighted now to be able to enjoy some of the sessions here with, uh, yeah, thank you so much. And GTSY hiker, what is that? <laughs> Merlin. <laughs> Merlin, you must be part of our Transmedia Storytelling. I will tell you why. I will tell you why. <laughs> and, and I am. <laughs> I have. I had some amazing experience here in, in Liverpool. Wolves, kind of your name. Let me give you a um, a link, text chat. Okay, yeah, 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 great, great. And the next session is where? Does anybody know? Uh -oh.